Sharp or rounded? A common question when buying D6s for your next game. Do you go with the usually bulkier, sharper, much less nice to hold sharp dice, or the usually smaller, rounded corners, better rolling and better feeling rounded dice? And by that opening statement, it seems like a no-brainer that you'd get rounded dice. And indeed, rounded D6s like this one here are the most common type of D6s you'll find when buying games for Warhammer or D&D and the likes. And there's many reasons for that. Some of them being, like I've said before, they're nicer to hold, they're not as sharp, they don't hurt as much, they roll for a lot longer because of the rounded edges, and they just look and feel better. And that's why, for most tabletop games you'll find, rounded corners on dice are the way to go. The vast majority of dice you'll find in your game of Uno and Scrabble will also have rounded corners. So if rounded corners are the way to go, why are sharp dice even available? Well, for some people like myself, sharp dice are actually more preferable because they actually roll more consistently. And this is also something that really only pertains to D6s because they're the most common dice that you can buy and they come with virtually every different type of game that there is out there. And also because the other dice for TTRPGs like D4s, D8s, D10s, D12s, and D20s don't really have the space available to make rounded corners on each edge. Arguably you could, but the dice would have to become much larger in order to do so. But aside from aesthetics, is there a reason to get sharp D6s over rounded D6s? Yes, and it's quite a large one. Because you see, rounded D6s are actually not fair. They do not roll perfectly averagely and are not actually as random as sharp dice. Many studies have gone into this and a few I've linked down below, but you can actually find that rolling D6s typically will end up on one side more often than the other if they're rounded, whereas sharp D6s are far more random. Now the type of material used to make the dice, whether it's pips or numbers, also all play into a factor, but even so, between these two dice, this sharp one here is actually more fair than this round one here. Let me ask you a question. When you go into a casino, or you see casinos in films and shows, what type of dice are they using? It's always sharp, edged D6s like this one. You will never see rounded D6s in any casino because casinos are heavily regulated to make sure that there is no cheating going on from both the people going to the casino and also from the casino itself. And having worked in a casino, I can tell you this 100%. Anytime there is any kind of way that a casino or a player at the casino could be seen as cheating, it is taken very seriously. This is a deck of cards from the casino I used to work at. At the end of every single night, every deck of cards used for any of the play tables are cut in the corners and left to be discarded every single night. Because the risk of anybody tampering with the cards is too great. You can get small little indentations, finger scratches or markings or anything that you can think of to give somebody an advantage. So after every single night, every deck of cards that was used for that night is either punctured with a hole or had their ears clipped and then sent to be discarded. And the same thing applies to dice that are used at casinos. And all casinos use sharp cornered dice that do not have indented pips. They're all clear acrylic, sharp sided, with painted on or usually small sticker transfer pips. Because drilling out pips makes the weight uneven. You have one side with six indents and one side with one indent, and that makes the weight uneven and therefore the rolling is no longer perfectly average between all six sides. So if that's the case, why do all games not go by this standard? Why not make the same fairness for all D6s? Well, because it costs more money. Chessex, a very well-beloved brand in the name of dice making, has publicly stated that the rounded corners that are sheared off from their dice, the amount of excess plastic made from rounding off those corners allows them to make more dice out of that excess plastic. Because if the dice were sharp, they'd be slightly bigger, but they'd also make less of them for more material. By shaving off the corners, they can save some of the material and make more dice. Even if they end up being a little unfair, and they're aware of this, it allows them to make more money by making more product. And even with the slight unfairness, is it something you're gonna notice often? No, I complain a lot about my dice that I use for Warhammer, but I much rather roll these nice feeling rounded corner dice than 10 of these sharp metal dice. Even if they weren't metal, sharp dice rolling several of them for Warhammer is just not as fun or as comfortable as rolling several of these. But how unfair is it truly? Well, 
if you want your dice to be perfectly accurate, then each side should be showing up after about 1,000 to 2,000 rolls roughly 17% of the time. But it is found, again through research, that if you roll rounded cornered plastic dice with drilled out pips in them, the one tends to roll 25% of the time. And in most games, you don't want to be rolling ones 25% of the time. Now, is this something you'll notice? Probably, now that I've pointed it out to you, but in most of your games, this is not something you'll notice all too often. Because even in the last game of Warhammer I just played, I saw these show up many times, but when I needed it most, I got my bloody ravens. So now that you're aware of this knowledge, are you going to be replacing your D6s with casino-made sharp D6s with transfer pips instead? I've honestly thought about it from time to time. However, I have a lot of D6s already, and changing just the D6s to casino dice, just for that little bit of extra fairness, I don't know if it's really all that necessary. But if I roll enough ones in my next Warhammer match, yeah, maybe I'll make a change. 